Hi, I'm Rain, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hey, what's up? I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Rain. How are you? Hello, I'm doing wonderful, thank you. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so happy to be talking to you. You're releasing an EP very soon, so how are you yes. feeling about that? I'm really excited. I feel like I've like sat on this music for so long and now that I'm finally getting to share it with the world, it's like, oh my God, yay. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Like, are you sort of nervous or have the nerves not hit you yet? Or do you even get nervous? Nerves? At all? Well, I do get nervous. <laughs> things. I used to get like really anxious about music and stuff, but I, I feel like if like five years ago, if I was releasing this music, uh, which wasn't written at the time, but if I were like releasing an EP, I'd probably be really anxious about it. But I'm kind of at a point right now where I'm just like, I'm just doing it. I'm just creating and I'm letting people, you know, experience what I'm creating and feeling really good about it. So I'm, I'm currently at a place where I'm not nervous. That might change like the day before it comes out, but <laughs> we're in a good place right now. Amazing. Um, I've heard it. It's amazing. I love it so much. It's so catchy. It's empowering, even though it focuses on like focuses on like the less fun parts of relationships. So, I mean, what was the creative process like? Honestly, it was just a lot of time in the studio, um, just like writing and working with people. Um, I worked with three people for like the entire EP mm -hmm. um, or all the songs on it at least. And so I think it's really good like working with the same people because you're less likely to get like repeat songs yeah. and you know, you kind of understand more like the vibe you're going for. So things feel a little more like congruent. Um, but yeah, it was just like going into the studio or writing over Zoom and being like, let's write a song today. Let's make it cool. And let's, you know, let's talk about this. Or a lot of the time we'd like come up with the subject kind of as we were writing. Cause that's one of my favorite ways to write is like, yeah. storytelling where you don't really know where it's going to end up until you get there um yeah that's amazing and especially writing with like the same people for the same project it's it helps so much right mm -hmm. <laughs> which tracks were the easiest and the hardest to make i think the easiest was probably is it cool for lonely which is the feature track on the ep tavish and i wrote that one over zoom it's the only <laughs> zoom track on the entire EP and we wrote it in less than two hours. It was like an hour 45. Um, it was just like a lot of fun. Like I really like writing over Zoom and I really love writing with Havish. And so we just like banged it out really quickly. And it was like, wow, I love this. As soon as I heard it, I knew I wanted it to be on the EP. For like a harder song, maybe um, nothing to bleed for. Mm -hmm. That one, like we had to like, re I had to go back and rewrite the bridge and stuff. I think it was just a little bit more like, what are we trying to say here? Like, we need like the right way to like say that, spread this, not spread, but you know, like express this emotion and the uh, the message of the song that doesn't come across as um, a little iffy, like morally. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cool. Um, and how would you describe this project? Because it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I would say it's like a culmination of like different versions, not versions of myself, but like for a really long time, I was writing very like pop kind of dance-ish inspired music. And now I'm, I'm going more into this dark pop thing, which has always felt really at home for me. Like I, I grew up listening to so much like emo music and rock music and, and that's always kind of what I would like to take little elements of. Um, and now I'm, I'm like, doing that and really happy about it, so. Oh my God, that's amazing. And you can really see like your evolution, evolution, that's Cult the word. Evolution, cultivation. <laughs> I think that's what that means, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I use words that don't have, that aren't real, you know. Totally, I love it. And like <laughs> you starting out from pop and merging into like what you sort of want to create is amazing. And it's like your own creation and that is the best thing ever <laughs> and you've tried a ton of candy on your youtube channel so what is your favorite sour candy a little oh popular. god i don't know i really love like sour keys i would eat those a lot for my mom like the big ones from costco <laughs> my mom and i sometimes she'll, she'll like buy one of those big things we'll make it last like a month or whatever and we'll just like sit there watching rupaul's drag race in her bed eating them. <laughs> <laughs> probably the 
those. I hate the toxic waste. When oh. I did that ASMR video, I hadn't had one in like a really long time. And I'm just like, this sucks. This is like really rough. <laughs> I'm not having a good time right now. <laughs> it's like painful. Yes. Yeah. It hurt my mouth. Not, not a good time. Not even close. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, and last question, who are your favorite artists right now? Right now, I'm really loving Willow Smith. Um, yes. There's this group called the Nova Twins. I really love Rina Sawayama. Um, I'm going back to like my emo roots, so I've been listening to a lot of like um, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, um, Taking Back Sunday. I'm listening to a lot right now. There's like a lot happening in my, my playlists, so. Amazing. I love like the like variety of different <laughs> genres. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. I'm sorry for the construction. You must oh. have heard it. It was horrible. But <laughs> thank you so much again. Thanks so much for having me. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>